Now I have example three. So in this example, guys, <clears throat> this is a third type example for uh, the mass moment of inertia. I have a pendulum that consists of a four kilogram circular plate. I know that the mass explicitly of the circular plate. So here, guys, I know the mass explicitly. It is equal to four kilograms. And I know that this slender rod has a mass of two kilograms. And I need to determine the radius of gyration of the pendulum about an axis that is perpendicular to the page passing through A. All right. So guys, here I don't have wall or I don't have an empty shape. I have to sum uh, the moment of inertia of this circular disk with the moment of inertia of this so if the slender road in order to find it around O. So I guys around O because I need to find the uh, 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 radius of duration, so I need to find I. It's equal to I of the disk around O plus I of the slender road around O. Now I of the disk around O is in fact half M of the disk R squared plus M of the disk times the distance between the center of mass of this disk and O, which is not two guys. It's two plus the radius, which means it's 2.5. All right. So this is for m of the uh, this is for the mass moment of inertia for the disk, and I know that the mass of the disk is given explicitly as four, while the radius is equal to 0 0.5. So you can find id with respect to O numerically. Let's have four 0 0.5 squared plus four times 2.5 squared. Now what about the slender uh, uh, body? If I need to find I of a slender body, what do you think, guys? How to do it? So how to find the mass moment of inertia for the slender body, the slender rod. Think about it, guys. Do you know how to find the mass moment of inertia for the slender rod? Each one apart? No, I have one slender rod. How to find the mass moment of inertia? Middle? What do you, what do you mean by middle node? Remember, uh, uh, remember the memorized moment of inertia. No, guys, I'm going to use the memorized moment of inertia. In fact, guys, a slender road is a thin rectangular plate. Because B is much less than A. Okay, guys? So with B is much less than A, which means I know that I of this plate is equal to 1 over 12 M A squared plus B squared. So now B is neglected compared to A, so I can say it's so the slender moment of inertia, so I of the slender road would be equal around, of course, its center of mass, right? So this is around its center of mass. I of the slender road around its center of mass is nothing but 1 over 12 m times a to the power 2. That's it, guys. All right? So guys, this is a rectangular shape that has a much greater than b which means i can neglect b compared to a that's it all right so i know that i of this slender road is equal to 
i of this slender road with respect to g plus m of this slender road times the squared the squared between the center of mass now they have different center of mass guys so this is the center of mass of the slender road and what's the distance between this slender of mass and o it's one all right so this means guys that it's it's equal to one over 12 m of the slender road which is equal to two times two times two squared plus two times one squared all right so now guys you can add them so i with respect to o will be equal to i of the disc with respect to o plus i of the slender body with respect to o and then you can find k as radical I with respect to O over the total mass, which is 2 plus 4. Any question? 